hello and welcome to episode 13 of our Timberborn Update 6 Folktales playthrough here, cycle 20, day 2. Last time, we built an observatory, finally, so our beavers can observe the wonders of the universe and also get some science points for us. And we started a uh, little bit more of the construction for our bad water diversion here. Obviously, there's still plenty left to do, and we're going to get to that today. Hopefully, hopefully, we can finish it in this cycle before the next bad tide comes in and see what else there is to do. But we're finally, finally back on the uh, original setup after I spent a couple weeks traveling. I was very thankful that I was able to continue the series while I was away, but we are back ready, better than ever for a uh, high FPS. You see that 162 down in the corner. No more, no more 20, no more 30. We're, we're back up there, folks. We're good to go. But uh, primary goal today, like I said, is to get this set back up, ready to go for some bad water diversion and power generation by putting these water wheels in place and taking full advantage of that, as well as fixing our sluices that seem to break every single time the game reloads. I think it's a known bug, but we're going to go ahead and hit pause and check on these. Actually, these look like they've been correctly, uh, <clears throat> correctly taken care of, but why is this one open and these are closed? Okay, now it's closed. These here... Yep, those are set uh, correctly. Looks like uh, they're open because this isn't completely full. And this is... Uh, unfortunately, got nothing back here because this has nothing here. Because there's bad water here that's being flushed out. Uh, you can see it says the contamination here is 3%. If we go underwater to these, it says 17. It is going down, though. So that's good takes time to get all this flushed out of here, and that is part of the reason why I'm so intent on getting this finished today. We've got a lot to take care of for sure, and we'll get it done as best as we can. Uh, a bunch of you noted that, hey, like, the water goes down through this. Do you know you, know you have to fix this? Yes, yes, we're good. It's okay. Uh, well, all we have to do is put in these impermeable floors, which we will research, and I guess... I guess we could go ahead and start putting down while we're waiting. Uh, just make sure they're in a spot where the beavers can actually get to them. Uh, it is uh, a little bit of a process to get these things all installed. But uh, we will get that done as quickly as we can. And I think... I think I want to just... Uh, <sighs> I want to just have this all match. I know it's, I know it's not ideal to put impermeable floor over just land, but honestly, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Obviously, we have to have more of a production so we can actually have enough metal blocks, and we have all of these overhangs that still need to be put in place. But it's a process, right? It takes time. So we'll go ahead and get into turbo mode. Let these beavers do what they've got to do. And then, hopefully, everything can work out just fine. And we can get water going in here, because uh, pretty pretty soon here, we're going to have some problems where we're going to run out of water, because we are pumping. And they're going to want to make sure they can do that. Now, uh, these water pumps, a couple of you guys called in the comments for them to be turned on, and I'm not going to do it. Because we're going to replace them with a large water pump. Once this is all ready to go, there is still enough water up here for them to drink. It's being hauled up. It's not ideal, no, but it does work. It's fine. We'll get it taken care of. Our bad water situation over here uh, is fine. Obviously, we want to be able to process everything remotely over here, but that is a long-term goal. Everything just kind of has to uh, happen when it has to happen. Now, this is dry because there's no water coming through here because this contamination is... Oh, it's only 2%? All right. Uh, I'm going to make the executive decision to just flush this out so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, now it's overtopping because I have this set to not open if there is contamination, right? Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to bypass this just real quick to flush everything out, get some more water through here. Um, this, did I set back to... Okay, that needs to be set to auto. Let this out. Uh, this is still drying out. 
Yeah, all right. I know there's a... Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot. If I go <laughs> if I go the triple speed, it's going to flood everything. Single time speed is going to be a lot... Uh, well, ideally... A lot more forgiving. Uh, but the main goal is to, you know, stop the plants from dying. So 1% contamination is not going to hurt them. We don't have to be worried about that. Our main goal here is just to get everything ready to go. Um, and I guess... Yeah, this is open. This still says 2% for some reason. I guess we'd have to continue flushing it out. Yeah, we'll just... Uh, We'll just let this slowly, in controlling the amount of stuff that comes through, right? Not having this on triple speed. Let this uh, slowly decontaminate itself and get stuff filled up. I am so glad the 2% contamination doesn't actually contaminate anything. It just kind of says, hey, it's it's got contamination. You worry about it, and I get to say no. So that's, that's a okay. Go ahead and uh, just put that back on auto because this will eventually get everything uh, completely taken care of here. This still says, still says 2%. That does not make any sense at all. Like there should be, there should be no more water coming through here at all. It should not be an issue. But I guess, I guess it just is. Make sure we have this nice and full, and then I will close that back again. See what these guys are getting up to. Okay, that says 0%. That says 0%. We can go back on... Yep, it's it's doing that overtopping flooding again. It's okay. No, nope, regular speed. Okay, well now why is this why 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 is this like this? I thought we fixed this. So this is closed. So why why is there more water coming out of it if it's closed? Are these not all not all set the same way? Close, 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 close. They are closed. So I guess that's just a uh, a shockwave shockwave thing occurring here. All right. That is very weird. Okay, because this says 2% contamination. I see a little bit of red peeking through here. But these are supposed to self-regulate, and it was working perfectly fine until the cycles got messed up. Well, that's a little irritating. Just, just a touch. All right, what are we what are we complaining about not having scrap metal? Oh, nobody's working the scavenger flag. All right, well guess what? That is now a priority. Um, I will make this up. <laughs> immediately went away. Okay. So clearly, clearly we need to make sure that we are uh, allocating our workers a little bit more effectively here. No wonder they're having such a problem. We only had one beaver doing scavenging, and all of the... Well, everything else got moved elsewhere. We still flooded down here? No? Okay. So hopefully... Hopefully that continues to be a good a good thing. Uh, we do need to replace these dams eventually with something else, I think, to make this a little bit easier. But uh, for right now, I think we're okay. In all honesty, it might be best to just have this be completely enclosed so no water ever leaves. So that way the only water that comes in here is if the level here gets low enough where there's, well, no water left or something. I don't know. We got stuff to think about. Stuff to fix and continually improve. That is just the way it goes. So I think, uh, obviously, to get this whole thing completely done is going to take a lot of metal. But uh, we can have the actual structure completed, probably not uh, not too far away if we just have uh, the beavers allowed to go down into here again. So since it's no longer contaminated, I will put the stairs back in here and here. And then I will deprioritize, well, not the stairs themselves, but I will deprioritize everything else. Uh, covering wise 
so they can just have the overhangs themselves finished. So you know the drill. I don't need the impermeable floor, I guess. If I come in from the side here, and I can click, there we go. Oh, that was the other overhang, that's fine. This, no, 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 come on. Let me click, let me click. Yeah, this is definitely what the people who made the game intended for me to be doing here. Just crawling around under the surface, trying to click on the same, not that one, the one behind it. No, nope, it doesn't want to let me do it. Okay, that's annoying. So I guess what I will have to do is just remove that one impermeable floor so I can click on the overhang and uh, reprioritize that. And that will end up being just fine. All right, so now we can send these guys in here and they can take care of everything. Be all A-OK. -okay. I think I deprioritized everything else appropriately. And the metal will uh, slowly, slowly end up solving itself. We do need a couple more of these. We are running out of the metal, uh, <laughs> the scrap metal to harvest here. So we're going to want to eventually move toward uh, mining this area. Honestly, it wouldn't be, that, uh, wouldn't be that big of a stress to just go ahead and start doing it here. It's kind of far away, though. We will uh, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. We'll let this be a long-term goal for us here. I don't know why I went that way. I guess it's fine. doesn't really matter. These guys will need a place to put all of their garbage. And by garbage, I mean scrap metal. And we'll just put that right there. Set that to be a supply. And we'll let them do that uh, as they have the need to. All right. So this district right now has eight vacancies. One incapacitated beaver. This district has three extra beavers. Which means we need to keep sending more beavers upstairs. It's a, it's a process, right? We are making extract, which we have uh, actually completely filled up. And I think we're going to want to go ahead and start making dynamite as well. But uh, for the time being, I don't want to uh, take away too much focus on actually building our bypass here. Because that is our, uh, our primary goal, is to completely save ourselves from the next bad tide. Even if it's going to... Uh, perhaps cause some short-term labor issues and all that fun stuff. But they are, uh, they're getting it done, folks. It's just a process. We gotta wait for the metal blocks to come in. So on and so forth. Uh, I need to put, I guess, the easiest thing to do is just put levees here and then uh, cover them up later to make it look nice. But uh, we don't need to worry about researching the... Uh, the two by one overhang and use that science. We can use that science for other stuff. Be in a much, much better place. Let me click on stuff. Thank you. There we go. Uh, this is looking fine. We just have to, of course, put the uh, little bits there. And I did say that I was going to uh, have to fill that in as well. So once we have all of the impermeable floors in on this stuff, we should should being the operative term, uh, be good to go. And then we can straighten this out and uh, put in all of the contamination barriers and all that good stuff. Uh, but that's metal we don't really want to use right now because we are trying to build all this other fun stuff. It's a process, folks. It is a process. But it is a process that is working. Slowly. Once we have all of the metal, and it's not only allocated to that specific place. So, planks-wise, I'm going to pause this one because it is full, and we, our plank storage is full. And we can start uh, relocating some of our beavers. There we go. Now we got two of them doing harvesting here. That should help. Uh, this is up and running, except there's no beavers working there because we need to have a place for beavers to live. I know this is not an ideal scenario currently, but 
Uh, this triple lodge will give us enough housing to make those things happen. And of course, we'll make stuff look better here. This is not the end-all, be-all. This is the, hey, we need to get this done right now. And we have the ability to do this deal. So we'll go ahead and prioritize that. Make that the first thing that gets built. And then we will be in very good shape. I can just move the extra beavers over here. And oh, we can staff pretty much everything we want to staff. Food-wise, we're looking great. 8,200 food stored. The sunflower seed situation could be improved. But I think that will come with uh, the addition of additional farmers. And maybe some more space growing sunflowers. Like, we have all these potatoes. We don't need to have all of this be potatoes. So I will unplant these potatoes. And as they're harvested, we will turn them into sunflowers. And maybe add another farmhouse. But... That's all long-term stuff, folks. We got so much to do that we uh, we need to make sure that we're just uh, taking advantage of all the opportunities for the priority things. So that place up there, I'm going to make a minimum of, say, 40 beavers. That's a little bit more important right now. And now we have five vacancies, but we also have 10 empty beds down here. So that problem will solve itself eventually. And this district still has some empty beds, but that's because we don't have, uh, still don't quite have enough with 40, but we are so much closer than we were before. Look at this. They're actually almost done with all these overhangs. They just have to bring the rest of the materials in and we'll be in good shape. And once all of the metal is uh, getting refined a little bit better, then we will be able to have this finished before the next bad tide comes in. Uh, which I guess selfishly I'm hoping is the next uh, thing that happens in this cycle because I want to see it. But uh, if it's not, I wouldn't be that upset because there's a possibility it's still not going to be done. And especially we're not going to have the uh, the contamination barriers in place either. So that's a whole thing. It just takes time. It just takes time. But the good news is the actual structure is completely done with the exception of this right here. And once I add the path, they should be able to reach it. Yes, they can now. I guess I could put a staircase down here if I really felt like it, but I don't uh, I don't think we need to. Yeah, so now, now the overhang can get built. Six metal blocks. It doesn't say they can't allocate the materials, so I'm assuming they've got it. I hope... At any rate, this is in a much, much better space than it was before. Uh, so we're looking good. Now we can also, as we're working on this, think about uh, the next monument, which is the Brazier of Bonding. It does take 400 planks, but we have 256 of them stored up here that we're not using. And we won't be using many of those right now because we have uh, completed most of the construction that requires planks. So I'm not opposed to us doing that. I just need, wow, just need to make sure that we're going to be able to actually build it. And of course, this district as well it does have 118, but doesn't really have a uh, doesn't really have a mechanism to get more. Minus just waiting for these guys. So we have to keep that in mind. Uh, this, this is oh, it's 3,000 science. So you know we're not doing it anytime soon. But that is going to be the next thing we're working toward. And then, of course, the Fountain of Joy, and then the Earth Recultivator, the capstone of the series. I don't know how long it's going to take for us to get here, but that is going to be a very long process. Hopefully, we uh, don't have to take more than 30 episodes, because that seems to be about the limit of what people will tolerate in these series. And uh, I, I don't especially want this to go too much longer than that, because that seems to be the nice rhythm that we've established. So, all the platforms are done. Now we just have to place the impermeable floors in, and then of course, once that's done, uh, these stairs go away, and then we put those in as well. So since this space right here doesn't need one, I will put a staircase right here so they can still get into this area, hopefully without waiting too terribly long, and then we'll be in pretty good shape. Now the other thing that I was going to do with this channel was put in additional water wheels. Okay, we have a drought approaching, so we're not gonna get the uh, not gonna get the bad tide, which is 
a little bit unfortunate, but it is going to save our beavers from getting infected and we can take our time to finish this, which is nice. Another thing we can do now that we're not so worried about that is we can build additional water storage up here. And I would love to build large tanks, but I don't have the metal for it quite yet. So what I will be doing is I will leave this open for right now. And instead, I will just place a tank, say, right here. And then maybe another one right here. That uses our planks and our gears, which are not going to be that big of an issue for us to build. We just want to make sure we have a nice amount of water storage. And that should take care of itself. These guys right here, I could, could turn these pumps on if I felt so inclined. I don't. Because, again, we have enough for them to drink. We're not hurting for it. We're doing okay. Of course, we'll plant these sunflowers as the space becomes available. Uh, the well-being in this district is 26, which is great for right now. Obviously, there's still more we can do. We can put a carousel in. We can do the detailers. Uh, I guess I have to come up with some fun ideas for that one. I know, I know some of you have ideas that I may or may not... Uh, want to listen to depending on who it is but we'll get that taken care of um i think the uh the, the beard face logo ha absolutely has to be one of these maybe we'll put a frog on another one if you have any other ideas that are safe for work please uh, put them in the comments and we'll see what we can do uh, but we can also as we start getting into the treated planks uh, start building dance halls and then of course the mud pit and our beloved frog statues, but we do not have treated planks at the moment. We will be getting them soon. I just want to try and not uh, do too many separate things at once, or I tend to become forgetful, and then uh, you guys don't enjoy that as much. So uh, we will be getting this finished, this episode, and then we'll see if there's any time left to do, uh, to do other things. Uh, we'll get that going. But it seems like right now we're just waiting on the metal... So let's check and see. Oh, wow, this is, uh, that's actually very full. We'll set that to be a prioritization. That one will be a reception. So that will work out. Yeah, this is just an issue of not having the haulers doing anything. So I'm going to... Hmm... I'll open up two more jobs here. Obviously, they're not all going to be filled all the time, but uh, we'll do what we have to do. I think how we have this going now works just fine. Oh, there's no storage for planks, huh? All right, well, I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause this other lumber mill and then this one, too, so we only have two of those running. Uh, put some of these beavers into other positions, and we'll see how things are going to be working. we got 13 kids up here. They need to grow up. Um, how close are we? Okay. A decent number of them are going to become adults very, very soon, which is good. They'll fill those other jobs. And then we'll have this all taken care of, at least for right now. We might have to uh, later on re uh, redirect some of this, but our bad water bypass will be more or less ready to go. And that's always a good feeling. Other things we're going to want to focus on, like I was saying, uh, getting dynamite going, getting the treated planks going, but all of those things are going to hinge upon us getting that bad water diversion done. Even though we have a drought coming up, uh, it could be, mm, I don't know, I'm going to guess seven or eight days, but we'll, uh, we'll find out here in just a moment when this clock ticks over to the next day. Oh, okay, six also works. And immediately, immediately the gravity batteries start going down. That's another thing we can keep adding. Uh, but for right now, it seems to be okay. We are going to have these windmills helping us out. So I don't think it's really that big of a deal. But the, the dynamite uh, is obviously going to help massively with that because we can expand uh, this down to the bottom of the map if we want to send the beavers down in here we can make this entire thing just a huge chasm and uh hold a much more water except it's not gonna leave unless it's you know at the correct height to go through here i love how it's just open close open close open close just spamming it trying to uh <laughs> trying to take care of all that for us here 
progress on this is actually coming along quite well. Those are going to dry out in 14.5 uh, days. We need to... Actually, let's take a pause here. I need to build an irrigation platform up here. And I'm not exactly sure where it makes the most sense to do it. I mean, maybe, maybe right about here? I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. I could just unplant, say, this one. Because I want it to reach over here. And over, for the most part, in this area. So if I clear this planting... Let's just say... Um, let's just say right here. That's 93, 79, 46, 70, 40... 81, 40, 99. Okay, so it wasn't really going to matter either way. Uh, once we get all that taken care of. But uh, we will do that. And um, we'll, we'll see what we're able to do otherwise. I know uh, some people have said, hey, you should put a Lido up here. Uh, if I put a Lido in the same place as the irrigation, the irrigation is going to have a little bit less of an effect because it seems 3x3 three three is the optimal size. Uh, it actually decreases. Apparently, I don't know, if I'm super wrong with my math, which is entirely possible, then uh, please do correct me in the comments. But uh, I believe the 3x3 three three is the the best irrigation hole we can come up with. So we can put Alito elsewhere, uh, either up on top of this thing or up here, possibly, if we put in a dam. So this retains a little bit of water, but we would have to then make sure that it was uh, also bad waterproof. I don't know. We, we got some stuff to think about. We got things things we want to think about, take care of. So since this seems to be winding down a little bit, let's take a look at our explosives factory. Of course, it's going to require 30 metal, which is one of the reasons why I have not built it yet. But we are going to want to get that going soon. And then, of course, the wood workshop. Actually, we could do right now without having metal because it takes just the planks and the gears and all that. So, if we have a spot where we would want to place one, we know it's going to not be completely stupid, and I think that would be smart. Uh, this I was saving for another one of the smelters. And I think eventually I wanted to have three of them here, so that's probably fine. Uh, this lumber mill can actually go away. And I think what we'll do... See if I have 800 for that and then 400 for this, then another 600 for that. That is not quite enough to do all of it. But but we can finally, if we did the word wood wood workshop, there we go. Say that one five times fast. Uh, we could build so many more things. So I, I do think this is a good thing for us to do at this time. So we'll do that. Wood workshop. This is the pine resin right here. So this is a perfect place for it. Uh, we got our planks right here, and then we'll have to have our treated plank storage also over here, which for right now will just be this space right there. And they should... Wow, look at that. They already have almost all the stuff except the gears. Except the gears. Gears will take a little bit longer to make, but uh, we got Rich Olds here making them for us. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. Yeah, look at us right here. We got all of this in place looking good. Looking very good. Just these last few, and then after that's all done, then we'll be able to continue amassing our metal blocks so we can build the explosives factories and then all that fun stuff. And that'll help us clean up a bunch of stuff here. Uh, and then we can blast this out, maybe generate some power in this area for bad water processing, keep everything kind of localized, and see what we can get up into. Ah, no, why? Why does this have 4% contamination in it? First of all, that's really annoying. How did that happen? At least I have wheat flour. It's kind of a... See, all right. This should never have 4% contamination in it. Oh, you know what? You know what I think is happening? Is this here. This says 0% contamination, but we did flush this through here with 2% contamination. And I think what happened is 
They've been pumping all the good water out of this, and it's increased the contamination, which means that this doesn't want to open. So we will open this temporarily, let some water in here so we can save our aquatic crops that haven't already died. There we go. Just resplash these real quick. Hopefully, uh, hopefully not all of them die. Uh, seems a couple of them already have. But that is so weird that that had a contamination in it. That doesn't make that doesn't really make sense. Well, I'm glad I came over to check on that because that's uh, there's no way for contamination to even get in here except through uh, through this because this has been. This has been dammed off forever. So there's a little bit, I guess this is still kind of contaminated here. But uh, nobody, nobody's become sick yet. Now this says zero. It says zero contamination. So I guess we, I guess we can just uh, auto, auto, auto. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just let this get fleshed out. That is so annoying that all the, <laughs> that all the wheat died out. At least I still had some flour. Sheesh. That's embarrassing. That shouldn't have happened like that. It really should not have happened like that. Alright, so that's closed. It's going to rebound. You have some weird shock waves, but uh, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Did I not put... I didn't. Okay. Well, we'll fix that. We are very close friends. Very close to having this be completely waterproofed. Uh, this obviously needs to close above contamination 1% automatically, which it is. I'm hopeful that none of it will actually get through. This is um, still letting a lot of water out. This should not be this should not be letting any water out of here. And this is something a couple of you guys complained about in the comments is how much water I'm letting out through. This should not be happening. This is set to 0.65. Unless this has been proven otherwise, which it may have been and I just don't remember, the dams, I'm pretty sure, are set to 0.66. So these... This is closed. It's closed. So why is there water still coming out of this? Oh, the downstream depth was higher. Okay. So that is actually... These are letting it out down to like 0.5. Okay. So, hmm. That's interesting because that's, that's causing a lot of water to come out of here. And now this is empty. That is annoying. I can't really, hmm. The problem though is I can't really just completely wall this off because then it's going to flood. Pretty much automatically. Well, what do I care? Let's um no, not right there. Let's try let's try this. We'll just we'll just put this in here. I'm going to just close these so nothing else comes out. Um why is this why is this overflowing? Okay, now now it's closed. This game is so weird. There's there's no reason for this. No reason for this to be doing this. Well, I um I guess this is fine. I don't know. Weird stuff, but now there's no now there's no water here. Which I guess isn't that big of a deal, but um uh, we definitely would like to have some. I can assure you of that. Okay, we need the 17 more gears here. Working around the clock, making gears, that is fine. Making metal about as quickly as we can. That that process has been improved, which is nice. We just were using so much at one time that it was kind of impossible to avoid. All right, that's working. I'm going to go ahead and unplant these entire things here because we're going to have to have 
Yeah, we're going to have to have contamination barriers pretty much all around this entire deal here. As soon as I can actually build and unlock them. I guess not in that order. Unlock and build them would be the correct one. But if this levy is put in place, this should solve our problems once and for all. By basically just turning this into a dead end, and then this only has to ever release water as it evaporates. So we'll see what happens, I suppose. In the event we have to have a, a flood overflow, I can just delete one of the levees, and then the dam behind it will at least keep 0.5 in. Maybe I should put a sluice gate in. Maybe I should put a flood gate in. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. A couple people have been kind of... Uh, I don't know what the correct word... It's not like anger, but like incredulity or whatever the correct interpretation of that is, that I have not been using floodgates and instead of focusing on the sluices. I don't know, man. I just, I want to play with the new stuff. I think it's cool. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just what it boils down to. That, and even though the floodgates have been improved and they can now have the uh, 0.05 increment control, I'm just so used to them being 0 0.5 or 1 that I just completely write them off. I don't want to use them because it just is such an annoying thing to deal with. Plus, you can't you can't put paths over the top of them. You can with the sluice gates. But this is obviously not a very good nuanced solution because it's just either open or closed. There is no half height, partial height, whatever you want to call it. So I can uh, I can recognize that it is objectively an inferior solution for fine control. But I do think if we manage to do it correctly, it's not going to be that difficult to figure out. All right, so we are, wow, just in time. Just in time for cycle 21. We are uh, completely uh, sealed up. With the exception of these these two spots right here that we've got to, uh, wait. No, those are, those are sealed. Cool. All right, well, then we should see all this water just completely come over here and then come out of the sluices here and here and nowhere else. That, that, friends, is really cool. That's working. All right, so this is now completely sealed. I'm going to have that set to close above 0.7. And then auto, which will open it. Hopefully there's not too much splash back here. Now this is completely sealed off. And now it's going to be shut. I think that's good. Yes, there we go. And this is slowly filling up. We still have not run out of power. With our gravity batteries here, I guess that's uh, windmills are doing a good job with that. I am so glad that this is finally done. <laughs> that is that is truly, truly inspiring to, s to see this fully complete, which is good. That was my primary goal for this uh, this episode was to get that done. So now, friends, ah ah, I hate that. I hate that. Why? Why? Why can I? Why can I delete an impermeable floor from underneath a path? I think that's the only block that it does that. I, I don't. Maybe it's one of those things that comes from it just being um, able to be placed underneath paths. In which case, then I guess I just have to deal with it. But man, I am so used to just being able to haphazardly delete paths without worrying about what's underneath them that I, uh, I played myself. All right, this is looking good, looking good, looking good. All the excess is flowing off this side, which is by design. I guess before I celebrate too much, I should make sure that this actually works for contamination, but uh, we're not there. So now I am mm, cautiously optimistic that I can remove these levees, open up this entire reservoir, uh, and start building, now that we have the treated planks, some large water pumps for these guys up here in that place up there. So, I guess... Mm, I'm kind of afraid. I'm kind of afraid to get into this because you know it's a... Uh, you know it's going to turn into something that's going to be a huge pain if it's, uh, if it's not actually going to work. But um, I guess we'll just go ahead and do it. Because why not? 
slowly, bit by bit, piece by piece, just uh, take care of that as we have to take care of it. These being open and one way only is fantastic. This doesn't seem to be coming out this side, which is interesting. Oh, I guess I don't need these here anymore. Uh, I guess I'll just keep those closed. As long as this channel is not flooding, then we're good. This probably should get um, blasted out at some point. Remember, I'm not in a rush to uh, get this filled in for irrigation. I just want to make sure that as we are uh, getting these trees harvested, that we don't replant them. So that eventually we'll be okay for that. But now I think that we are going to be in good shape. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just platform over this so we can have our bridge here. Then I will get rid very carefully, very carefully of the paths. <laughs> get rid of these things. Oh, so carefully. Now, what is this? Three planks. I'm uh, just gonna, you know, ignore that. Get those stairs out of there. Get that path out of there. Get those stairs out of there. And now, friends, we can come in here and we can place all of these uh, power shafts that we need to be need to be doing here. So they'll come grab that. That was fast. That will connect the next set. This will have to become another... Actually, I'm going to make it a four-way. Actually, that's not even the right spot for it to go. What am I... What am I doing? Um, ooh, you know what? We can substantially uncomplicate this by just placing right here and right here. Now that'll be a four-way. That'll be fine. And then this still has to connect to here, so I don't think we need to worry about that. I'll just pop that in there. The buildings that are up top can just share power. But uh, I need to put in additional water wheels. I think they can still reach this. I'm hoping they can still reach this. Actually, they can't unless I pause those two. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just conveniently take care of this real quick. Put that guy in and then um I love the it just teleported those all the way over here. That's actually kind of funny. Very good, very good. Should be making a whole lot more power once this is all ready to go. You look at that, look at that. Supply of over two thousand. I will take that any day of the week. We'll get this power shaft and that power shaft intersection complete. Very nice. Everything hooked up here. And it continues. We'll just add more and more and more of these things. I'm pretty sure I don't even have to worry about this now because I can just pop 12 of these in here all the way across. Get everything hooked up, and we are going to be home free, folks. So much power. So much power. Assuming they can actually, you know, uh, build all these within a reasonable degree of uh, time there. Now, metal-wise, I finally have enough metal for us to go in here and start building some dynamite. Do I have enough science for the dynamite? I do I have 400 for the explosives factory. This, unfortunately, is not going to fit unless I build some uh, some stupid-looking thing here, which I don't know that I want to do. I also don't want to keep that over there. I think we want to have all of our uh, stuff here. If I do this, I guess, I guess this is fine. I guess it's fine. I'll just build that right there. Why not? Just need to have a little bit of storage here. And that medium tank can go there for some bad water. That'll be beneficial for that as well. Builder's hut probably doesn't need to be in this exact spot, but uh, it's going to be just fine. 
small warehouse for the uh actually no you know what might as well go ahead and go for broke put this whole thing for the dynamite right here no reason not to uh, we'll get that going and then we can we can make some substantial progress on uh, the rest of this this is looking good our huge field of wheat is going to be back shortly sunflowers slowly coming in over here and that's all looking good look at this look at this we're making good progress obviously this is not all hooked up yet but it will be as we continue getting everything good to go and look at that look at that nice progress here and just like that we're already making almost 3000 hp once these are connected it's going to be closer to six five or six Oh, well that's... Okay, not that much, because I forgot about our windmills here that are actually contributing a significant amount of power. But we have this space here. We can continue with that. And if I can stop sneezing and having to mute the microphone every, you know, 10 seconds, then that'll be even better. Hopefully you don't have to hear that. I never actually checked to see if it mutes it, but I think we're good. And, oh, they've cleaned this out. So these scavenger flags can go away. And then eventually we can start migrating <clears throat> this smelter over to here. Do we have the materials to build this? Uh, we're short on gears for the moment, but uh, that'll get solved once we have this built. Okay, we have explosives. That's looking good. Uh, I will go ahead and start off with a bang here. Uh, blast this out. And, you know, I might as well Let's see, that's going to be three if I'd go one, two. And then another three here, and then one here I can have no, I don't, I don't need this one. I can have four water wheels here, and then we can move our bad water processing over to this area. Well, kind of. I, I will need to relocate that. Oh, they can't reach this? Eww, that was unfortunate. But I can just put that there, and that'll, that'll work. All right, that is looking pretty spiffy indeed. Let's uh, delete our paths here, and then we can come in with our uh, uh, power shafts. All that fun stuff. I will be using the intersections, the four ways, just in case we want to have power come off at times. But uh, right now we just need to get this done. So let's see if they're able to take care of that. Obviously, it's going to be not that quick of a process, but... Uh, it's going to be fine doing these one by one. A couple people have given ideas for how to just, you know, place everything down all at once and use prioritization. It's never worked for me. I don't know why. It should work. There's no reason why it shouldn't. It just, the beavers always end up uh, getting stuck like idiots whenever I try to do that. So that's why I'm not doing it. Doesn't mean it's wrong. Doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means I've never gotten it to work for better or for worse. Okay, so that's there couple more pieces. We're going to wrap up here in just a moment, folks. But I, I wanted, I really wanted to make sure this was up and running. And I kind of wanted to test it with the bad water, but uh, can't guarantee when we're going to have a bad tide, so I, I don't want to, you know, prolong this too much. I just want it to actually uh, be finished and have this whole thing operating ready to go. So on and so forth. So that is looking pretty good. I think, see, I, yeah, I've got this in place. I think we can also, maybe one of the last things we'll do today is uh, move the smelter over here, take this uh, windmill out, because I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, it's connecting these together, but the rest of this, it's not. Uh... Oh, no, that actually is um, a load-bearing windmill, if you will. That's uh, pretty important 
So I would just have to replace this with a... Oh, no, it's going to have to be a building because I'm using that to come up from underneath. Okay, well, I said I was going to have... Um, I was going to have multiple smelters over here, so... I guess the end of the day today we'll do that. How much power are these making together? Almost a thousand. Very good. Okay. So I'll go there. Uh, it is... It's basically the end of the workday, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Come in here with our smelter. And then, uh, which way are the doors facing? There we go. Build that one first. See what, um, oh, these are just logs, logs and planks, okay. Are we full on storage? We kind of are. Oh, they got all that. All right. I don't know why I just paused the game. It's like an instinctive thing. Uh, we'll get this constructed as fast as we can. The gears continue to disappear, as one does. But, uh, oh, yeah, look at this. Look at us go. That is going to work out splendidly well, friends. Because now I can put in... Water wheel here and here, yes. They can't really reach this, but uh, that is going to provide us a lot of power. And that's what we want to see. That is what we want to see. So let's, uh, I guess, um, we, can, uh, we can blow this up here and just uh, get across that way. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the double dynamite quite yet, but I will We'll go ahead and get that going. Oh, this is still not done. It's been like uh, multiple days. Oh, well. Everything can still be powered because of how this is split up. So that's looking fine. This needs to be removed. I did not push the right button. That's why that didn't happen. Okay. That's working. Eventually, all of this is going to go away. I, I, I'll just go ahead and get rid of these. No reason to hold on to those. We're not going to need them. I'm not going to use them. All right. Please, please, gears, please. Um, I, you know what? I should just replace this uh, with a gear here. Yeah, this is this is continuing to be a problem. So, uh, gear workshop. Come and workshop some gears. Build this expeditiously, please, and thank you. Of course, none of these have been placed yet because they're uh, they're busy doing it. Not that. But this is going to be nice, having this isolated over here. Little bits and pieces of projects that uh, aren't necessarily going to be all done at the same time, but hopefully... Hopefully you can appreciate that I, uh, I'm, I'm trying not to uh, dip my toes into too many projects at once without one being finished. This was the big one. This was the big kingpin right here. Right now I'm just waiting on gears and gears and gears for our smelter here. I guess I can go ahead and pop this other one in. So we know that's going to be something eventually that has to get done. Uh, but that being done here means... I have enough metal, I'm pretty sure, for right now. I can go ahead and uh, get rid of this, get rid of these, get rid of these, get rid of these, so get rid of these. They can pick all that garbage up, hopefully use it to help build. Uh, if they've got some gears laying on the ground, which they do. Yeah, the windmill. Oh, yeah. Windmills have a bunch of planks and logs, so that's fine. Just waiting on gears. The eternal need for gears. All right, so that's progressing. That's progressing. Come over here and do that. Do this and then, friends. We're going to be pretty close, uh, ready to get the rest of this going here. And I might even be able to relocate a uh, bad water pump or two, depending on how we uh, have this set up. And then put our centrifuge over here, directly connected to the pumps. I think that would probably be a Slightly better location than right here. If we want to eventually get everything uh, going in one spot. But we are... Oh, wow, yeah. 
This episode is starting to get long. I'm trying not to have too long of a deal here. So we, we will be ending probably, I guess, whenever the next uh, cycle bit gets announced. Could be right now, maybe? Anything? No? Okay, well, uh, you get another 90 seconds of, uh, of this at uh, triple speed. So that's done. Now, ah, yep, we're waiting on gears. The eternal need for gears. Well, it's fine. They got other stuff they're doing. That's done. This is making almost 200 HP. This one's making 77. It wasn't going to be perfect off of one one source block, but um, it, it should be enough. It should be enough to get uh, one centrifuge at the very least and maybe a dynamite factory, explosives factory, whatever you want to call it. And that could be a problem for next episode, a thing we're going to solve then, but... Look at all of our fabulous progress we've made today, folks. We've got our diversion thing. I am pretty sure is actually working. Uh, we've identified where we're going to put all of our contamination barriers. Um, I do have the science to unlock those. I'm not going to right now because I do think it's a little bit more important for us to do uh, the well-being stuff first. These trees have not had a mass extinction because of the bad water. I don't think they will anytime soon anyway. But looks like we're pretty much good to go. I'm just waiting at this point now to see what our next cycle is. And it's a drought in three days. So um, that is where we're going to leave it today, folks. As always, I appreciate the support very, very much. Uh, Beard Boosters especially, uh, and all of the fantastic, wonderful, amazing contributions that they've been making. Uh, so I can keep playing this game as a uh, maybe something I'm spending a little bit too much too much time doing, but it, it, it helps uh, justify the amount of time that I spend having fun with you guys uh, in the face of other real-life responsibilities. But uh, I'm very, very grateful for the support. I love getting to do this. It's amazing. It's super incredible awesome that I get to, <laughs> I get to do this for money and for the fun and fame and fortune. And, well, I don't really care about any of that stuff, but I like, I like getting to talk to you guys and play the fun beaver game. <laughs> I get to I get to make the excuse that oh hey I actually do this for work now so oh okay well you go go play your beaver game go go make your money it's like I'm doing this because I like it it's fine <laughs> we're having a good time so I'm glad to have you along for the ride and all of the uh, legitimately helpful life changing support and encouragement you guys have given me I just I cannot begin to express how genuinely thankful I am for each and every one of you. Whether or not your name is on that huge list that's going by on the screen, I really appreciate you, and I hope that we can see each other again soon for more beaver fun and more non-beaver fun. we got other stuff coming back, too. Uh, the Penguins and Prison Architect are still in progress, and we're going to get it back into Satisfactory and City Skylines 2 as well, uh, since Satisfactory is getting the 1.0 release on September 10th. So we've got a little bit under two months to try and finish our current playthrough before we start over with all the fun that 1.0 is going to bring us. Anyway, uh, that is going to be it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Again, thank you so much for being here, for supporting me, for allowing me to continue to do this fun, crazy stuff with the beavers. And we'll see you next time. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.